Typically a Hispanic family, it's a very large, large family, and we are raised to grow up, go to school, finish school, get married right away, and have children. I knew that wasn't gonna be the life for me. I knew that I had to kind of find another way around into having kids. When I announced that I was having a baby through surrogacy, a lot of people are like, are you scared? Are you scared that the surrogate will keep your baby? Absolutely not. I'm very grateful for her. Although I'm physically not showing him, I feel like I'm pregnant as well. The first time that I kind of figured out something was not okay with me. I was about 12 years old. My friends started getting their menstrual cycle and I kept questioning myself, why wasn't I getting a menstrual cycle? My mom kind of just pushed the topic away. It wasn't until about 17 years old, I had a very bad scar and I wanted to get cosmetic surgery on it. I got a hold of my medical records and I found out that I didn't have a uterus. It was removed when I was six months old. I believe the first thing that actually crossed my mind. I can't have kids, plain blink, I can't have children. I grew up not telling any of my friends that I had a hysterectomy. Nobody knew that I didn't even have a menstrual cycle. I would pretend to just have cramps and not feel good just to try to fit in. So it took a toll on my teenage years just having to pretend all the time and pretend that I was normal. My OB at the time told me the only option I had to have a baby would be through surrogacy. I went home, I started doing some research and it kind of seemed like a crazy idea for me. It wasn't really until I met my husband, Rodolfo, Rudy. She told me that she couldn't have kids, that it was my decision if I want to keep being with her or not. I told her, yeah. There's different ways we can adopt a baby or go different routes. It wasn't an issue for me at all. The idea of having and going through surrogacy came up in a conversation with my mom, my dad, and my husband. I knew Bianca was looking for a surrogate mother because I came across one of her posts on social media. I know Bianca for seven to eight years. I consider her my sister, but we're just really close friends. So I messaged Bianca and I had told her that I would love to be her surrogate just because I've been knowing her for so long. And we just kind of went through the process from there. I just think it's so beautiful to carry someone else's child and giving someone else the opportunity to be parents. I know many women that go through several rounds of IVF, several egg retrievals, embryo transfers, and they don't get pregnant. We were very fortunate to have to go through one round of IVF. You're having a baby. <laughs> Our status now is that we are expecting a baby boy. The due date they gave us was Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. I am very excited about being a mom. I am very excited. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. You definitely have to have a lawyer that represents you, the intended parent, and the surrogate mother, a complete separate attorney. You have to go through psychological testing, you have to go through genetic testing, and everything has to be in writing, everything has to be legal in court documents. You have to take care of all that before the surrogate giving birth to your child. Most of the time, the surrogate mother is already a mother herself. You have to have a surrogate that already gave birth, already has kids, and is medically selected. The fact that we are an independent contract and she's a really close friend to me, it just makes it so much more easier to communicate directly to her, to be able to spend time with her, to go to the OB appointments with her. We started as friends and now I see her like a sister. I feel like going through this all together, it's just created such a strong bond between us two. Surrogacy is so expensive. In all, 
I'm looking around $75,000 for the whole process. My parents were very generous and very kind to want to help us with some of the medical treatment expenses. I like to say that surrogacy is a privilege. I feel like it was made for the rich. For a long time, we didn't have the money to move forward with it. So for this surrogacy, there is a compensation of $15,000. There's a monthly payment of 1000 and that would be paid off in 15 months. I do believe surrogacy takes advantage of some women just because if you are in a really hard economic situation, that could come in handy. You could do it through agency and there's a bigger compensation that you can fix your financial problems. I do know that in Mexico, unfortunately, it does seem to be like that, of taking advantage of underprivileged women. It is like that because most of the women that go through surrogacy and become surrogate, they're doing it for that financial relief. And they kind of get away with not paying them as much as you would pay here in the U.S. I do not plan on having any more kids of my own, but I do plan on being a surrogate one more time for Bianca, since she does have another frozen embryo. I think after baby C is born, we are still gonna be very close. I won't be around as much just because I do live far, but she does mention to me that I will be able to see him and just see him grow, because I do consider him like my surrogate son and a nephew. If he wants to call her Mommy Sandy, I'm okay with that because I do want him to know that we did have him through surrogacy. He is a blessing to us and whether people like it or not, that is his surrogate mother, that's his birthing mother. I feel like I want him to love her and respect her for giving him life. Hello, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to Plus One. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.